All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kakwadash, Yahweh, being the one only true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And uh, shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Arazaka from the tribe of Gad, coming through the spirit. And uh, pretty much, this lecture is going to be titled as, Is it okay to have tattoos? Alright, the origin of it, is it okay to have tattoos? And the reason why I said that, the origin of it, is because tattoos always go back to a heathenistic custom you know tattoos i mean stuff like tattoos and other things always go back to a heathen custom salaki all right this is why again you know in today's society today you know two-thirds of our people are westernized and they're tattooing themselves to death you know they look at these rappers they think it's cool um they think oh it's hardcore it's gangster it's thug hey man this shit is wicked and you're going to be destroyed for doing this, all right? You tattoo yourself half to death. Now, don't get me wrong. You got some of us, you know, that is in this truth that got tattoos. But we got these before we came in. Like, I'll put myself out there, like me. Before I came into the truth, I didn't know that tattoos was wicked, you know? I mean, I understood the basis of it, you know. I, I, I didn't know that it was in the scriptures. But, you know, I being a Christian, being apostolic, because that's what I was. I didn't understand that, you know, having tattoos is going off on the scriptures. So, you know, like I said, I put myself out there. I got, I do have tattoos. Now, these tattoos that I had, I got them before I came into the truth. So, if you a brother that did not know, you know, and you got them, hey, you repent. You know, you're not going to do it again because you're in the truth now. And you know that having tattoos is, is wicked and it's going off. You know, we know that. But if you a brother that got tattoos and you didn't know, and you already and you're in the truth now. That's fine. Just don't get them again, cause you know not to do it. But in that time, you didn't know. You know what I mean? You didn't know that tattoos was was against the scriptures. You know, a lot of us that come into this truth, you know, before we come into this truth, we didn't know. You know, but now that I know that tattoos is against the scriptures, am I gonna go and get tats again? No, because I know that it's against the scriptures. All right. So you brothers that's new in this thing, if you do got tats. You know, you already have tattoos and, you know, you didn't know. Hey, man, you know, the Lord has mercy on us. All right. We didn't know. But now that you do know, you know, don't get them again. Because now if you get them again, you know, you can't repent. But you know better because you already know not to get them. But, you know, I'm about to do a video on this because this is a big question to a lot of guys that's in the truth. You know, new in this thing. They want to know, is it okay to have tattoos or, uh, you know, if you didn't know that you had, you didn't know that tattoos was going off and that it was wicked. If you didn't know that, you know, hey, you know, the Lord's going to have mercy on you for that, you know, because you didn't know. But if you're in this truth and you're tattooing yourself and you're doing shit like this, then, hey, man, you're going to be destroyed for doing this. All right. So, you know, I just want to show you some pictures of rappers. Here go a guy right here that got tattoos. You see, his body is a mural. He has a whole bunch of tattoos. He got Hollywood. He got all these things, you know, on, on his body. You know, he's tattooed to death. All right. Now, a lot of guys that's carnal, you know, that's not knowing this truth, they think this is cool. Oh, this is cool. This is tight. This is cool, homie. Yeah, I'm hard. I got tattoos. But, hey, what you're doing is you're committing iniquity. All right. You tattooing yourself to death, and it's against the scriptures. You as a Hebrew Israelite. All right, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you are not to tattoo your body, man. All right, now again, I'll say this again: if you ha if you got tattoos, all right, and you and you didn't know, and you came into the truth, and you already had tattoos when you came into the truth, it's fine because you did not know. All right, so if you got if you have tats already, all right, and you didn't know, all right, and you're in the truth now, you know, you you got the tattoos. And you're in the truth now, and you didn't know that you got them already, like myself. I got what I'm saying is, I got tattoos myself, but I did not know that getting tattoos 
was against the scriptures. So when I came into the truth, I already had tats. So if you're a brother that's like me that had tats before you came into the truth, that's fine because you did not know. The Lord is going to forgive you for that. But if you're a guy that's in the truth and you're still getting tattoos and you're still tattooing yourself, you're going to be destroyed for doing that. Because you know, you already know better and you already know that it's against the scriptures. So I'm not going to blabble along, a blabble too much, you know. So we're going to... Um, we're going to go uh, to the origin of it, all right? And what I did to look this stuff up, and you guys can look this up if you don't believe me, I titled it. I said, did tattoos first start in Egypt? So you always want to know where something comes from, all right? A lot of things go back to Egypt anyway because Egypt did wicked shit anyway. They a heathen nation. So you can put this in. Now... When I put in, before this, I put in uh, where tattoos start from, and it'll, it'll say it started in Greek. The Greeks were doing it, but when you, you when you search stuff, this is why you got to really put uh, certain type of questions in Google. You'll get the correct information. So uh, I put, did tattoos first start in Egypt? And let's see what my reference say. You know, we're going to read the uh, history of it. It says, despite a lack of direct textual resources, tattooed humans' remains and iconographic evidence indicate that ancient Egyptians practiced tattooing from at least 20,000 BCE accounts of early travelers to ancient Egypt. It says, describing the tool used as an un uneven number of metal needles all right attached to a wooden handle so tattoos came from ancient egypt came from egypt all right and we're going to prove this you know we're going to uh not wikipedia i actually had information uh let's see was this what i wanted to read no nah, i want to to lock in This wasn't what I had because it had so I can bear with me. I can, uh, well, this isn't the original article that I got, but um, I think it was this one. Bear with me. It's yeah, here it is. You brothers can look this up. It says ancient Egypt mummies had some world earliest tattoos. You can look this up, all right? You can, guys can look this up. This is the article I read. As you can see, there's a mummy, and that mummy, this is a real. It has, the, on the skin, has tattoos, all right? So in Egypt, they tattoo themselves. So tattooing is a heathen custom. It goes back to the Hamites, the Africans. They did that. But you as an Israelite, you are not to be tattooing yourself to death. You're not supposed to even get tattoos, period. Salakia. Let me reiterate that. No tattoos at all. But again, if you got tattoos before, if you had tattoos before you came into the truth, the Lord is going to have mercy on you. You did not know. But those of you that are in the truth and you're getting tattoos and you're tattooing yourself or you're thinking about doing it, you better think again. But it says, early ancient Egypt tattoos found on mummies. It says, the 5,000-year-old mummies have tattooed images of sheep, bulls and mysterious lines and there it is right there proving it this is a mummy and it has they have tattoos on them all right they did that all right so like you uh and they did this stuff you know <clears> or <throat> well, now they want to uh so like you pop this up we're gonna go there again <clears throat> i don't know why that popped up but i'm just going to read to the point it says, ancient Egyptians were getting inked up earlier than we thought. So like it. I'm going to keep reading it until it pops. It could pop up. I'm going to uh, see what I can do to exit out. Yeah, so like it. I'm going to have to turn this around. Uh, so like it. I don't know why this is doing this shit. Um, <clears throat> let's 
Rocky. So Rocky, Rocky, I'm about to read a different article, cause, um, but if you brothers do, you can check this out. But it's messing up my view, and it's gonna keep doing this. So let me see what else I can get relating to that article. But that's the article I wanted to bring out, but it's messing up my whole entire video, cause it keep popping up, and I can't even exit out of that. It says tattoos in ancient Egypt. So you guys read, you know, it came, you know, uh, they were tattooing themselves. It says Egyptians are known for highly symbolic and, st and stylish artwork found on the walls of the monuments and tombs. But they are also the source of some of the earliest record appearance of tattoos, as well as the long as, lo as well as the longest consecutive history of the art of tattooing. Ancient Egyptians tattooed images of gods, music dance, fertility rituals, uh, geometric patterns on their bodies but for over 4,000 years. So there you go. Tattoos came from Egypt. It's a heathen custom. All right. Uh, this is the article here. You guys can look at, it at the top. You see at the top above what, what it is. You guys can check this article out. But tattoos came from Egypt. It's 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 wicked. It's against the scriptures. It says the first sign of Egyptian tattoo dates back to 2000 BC, which is the right around which is right around the time that the first pyramid were being uh, constructed. Although there has been very little tattoos mentioned in the serving tent, the servant the servant text. Of the time and only a few mummies bearing tattoos have been discovered it is believed that tattoos played a significant role in Egypt in Egyptian culture so there you go tattoos go back to Egypt all right that's why you're not supposed to be you as a Hebrew Israelite you are not to be tattooing yourself man all right you are not supposed to tattoo yourself that's going off I'm gonna get some scriptures too I just want to read a little bit of this it says three female three female mummies from the pyramid were found with tattoos on their stomach, thighs, and pelvises. It says due to the due to the placement of the tattoos, it is believed that they were used to ask the gods for protection and blessing during pregnancy and labor. Wow. So tattoos go all the way back to Egypt, man. Alright? You as Hebrew Israelite are not supposed to be tattooing yourself, man. That shit is wicked. It's satanic and it's against the scriptures. All right. The Lord even say that. All right. So, you know, I'm not going to, there's so much more information you can read, you know, getting going into this, you know, what it means, what they did, the customs they did to get tattoos, you know, the rituals that they did for it. We know. Boom. All right. So now we're going to get to scriptures. All right. So I can, now we're going to get to the scriptures. This is, uh, KJV. I want to get out, uh, MV Slacking. All right, get out. Because uh, the scriptures tells us, the scriptures tells us not to do this. Proverbs three and thirty one, it says, "Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways." All right, you you as a Hebrew Israelite is not supposed to uh, do, all right, what the heathen do or see what the he heathen do. All right, or see what these carnal two thirds do, and then you do it. All right, so you're not supposed to envy them. All right, nor choose none of their ways. If you t if you're getting tattoos right now, and you're in the truth, and you know that tattoos is against the scriptures, and you're doing it anyway, you can be destroyed for doing that. All right, the Most High can kill your ass for doing that. All right, you you can't be doing that. You can't be tattooing yourself to death. You can be destroyed for doing that. All right. So you not envy the scriptures say envy not the oppressor, choose none of his ways. Let's get out uh let's get out uh Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter uh ten and verse two. It's Jeremiah chapter ten, verse two. It says, uh, Thus saith the Lord, lean not it says, learn not the way of the heathen. So I can read from the top. Jeremiah 10 2. It says, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. All right. And 
and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right. Learn not the way of the heathen, man. All right. You're not supposed to be doing, uh, what's that word they use? Uh, monkey see, monkey do. All right. You don't do what Esau do. You don't do what these 17 heathen nations do. All right. Because the Lord gave us a codified law. Let's see. Let's read, uh, let's read Leviticus chapter, uh, 28. Uh, is it, yeah, I'll get out of Leviticus 28. And, cause I want the whole entire, uh, uh, Leviticus 19. Yes, yeah, like it. Let's get out of Leviticus 19. <clears throat> Is that? It's not, I want the whole chapter. Let me see. Yeah, give me the whole chapter, man. All right, there you go. <clears throat> this is Leviticus chapter 19. And we're going to scroll down to 28. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit more. All right. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 19 in verse... Uh, 28 it says ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print any markings upon you I am the Lord so right you're not supposed to put any cuttings into your flesh what is that talking about tattoos man you're not supposed to be cutting yourself up to death man you're not supposed to be cutting yourself up to death alright you're not supposed to be you know Doing these uh, abominations, man. You know? You're not supposed to be tattooing yourself to death. That's not... Uh, that's not an Israelite custom. Alright? That's not an Israelite custom. Uh, there's another scripture I got off the top of my head. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember that scripture. It's in Leviticus. Uh... see it's called uh nations are cast out let me see if i can get it it's leviticus 20 is this it let me see nah, that's not it um Salakia, I forgot what scripture that is. Salakia. Uh, Salakia. This is Leviticus 18 and uh, verse 24. This is the scripture I needed. It says, Defile not yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. Right. Because the Lord is not dealing with these 17 heathen nations. The Lord only gave the Israelites a codified law to keep, you know. The Lord gave our forefathers a codified law to keep. So the Lord cast out those 17 heathen nations, man. The Lord isn't dealing with them. This is uh, Leviticus 18 and 30. It says, Therefore shall you keep mine ordinance, that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs. Tattooing yourself or getting tattoos is an abominable custom. Which were committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord your power. Right. So you, as an Israelite, you are not to be tattooing yourself. All right. This isn't your body anyway. The Lord loaned it to you. Your body is on spare. This body that you're in, this flesh that you're in, is on spare time. The Lord loaned this body to you, man. This isn't your body. All right. Let me see. Let me get that uh, word. Uh, get that out uh temple you know <clears throat> you know this is this is not our body man this is body is is loaned to us all right this isn't our body the lord loaned it to you this is uh first corinthians 3 16 it says know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high and that the spirit of the most high dwell in you verse 17 it says if any man defile the temple of the most high him shall the most high destroy. So you tattooing yourself to death, 
But if you're getting tattoos and you know not to get it, you're going to be destroyed for doing that. Yeah, if you get tattoos, you're going to be destroyed for doing that. All right? You can't be doing that. Tattooing yourself to death, you can't be doing that. All right? Let's read again. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High. It says in that the Spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which ye are. Right? So this body that you're in is the Most High. It's not your body. The Most High loaned it to you, man. We're in a grace period in this in this flesh. You know? This isn't our body. The Most High loaned this to us, man. He could take it away at any time. So you tattooing yourself to death, you can be destroyed for doing that. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. Do you how about you, my shy? You can be destroyed for doing that. Tattooing yourself, you can be destroyed for doing that. Alright? So you're going around here tattooing yourself to death. You better think again. You know, so hey man, you know, I'm gonna end it there with that. Low one this video is that a fine. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh by Hashim Yashai by Hashim Kakudash. So now you know, man, tattoos is a heathen custom. All right, it's not an Israelite custom, it is wicked. If you got tattoos and you came into the truth and you had tattoos before you came into the truth, it's all right. Lord, you repented, you're not gonna do it again, that's fine. But if you're a dude that's in the truth, supposedly, and you tattooing yourself, or you thinking about getting a tattoo, or if you are in the truth and you got a tattoo, same thing you Israelite woman, you better really repent and don't do it again because the Lord can destroy your ass. It's in the scriptures. You can be fucking destroyed for doing that. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Until then, I say, Shalom.